Hello Youtubers, this is DevTestAva2 here once again for another review, which is kind of new, which is something I usually don't do. So we're going to go in with the Sly Collection for PS Vita. Sly 1, Sly 2, and Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I need to record something and PS Vita, people don't actually know full background of this game. Now I beat most of the game so far. Slide 3, I got to the last level right now. I'm stuck on it for a little while. It's challenging playing on the Vita screen sometimes. And I'm on the 4th to final on Slide 1, and on Slide 2, I'm at the final again. So, let's get on to it. Someone likes my activity. Of course they do, it's Sly. Now, if you didn't know, this game is a 3D platformer that was made in the year 2000. And then went on to, I believe, 2004-2005. Then got revamped on 2012. Oh, yes, this game. They make the worlds, they're so small, but they feel so big. And the loading screens are not even big. But as you can tell, that's probably the only touchscreen you're ever going to see in the game. For the most part. Now, we'll turn network connections off because this is a PS... Two title, not really something you want to get too far into. Now the animations aren't the best; they are still pretty solid, though. Most of the music is pretty spot on to the original, but Sly One has a revamped versions of songs which I just adore. Now I know that some people are not familiar with Sly, but it's a really good one game. But let me warn you that in this games, oh, she's too loud. On these games, the presentation is very high, but there will be sometimes a lag or frame rate drop when you first start, when you load up the game. Which didn't happen this time, but it usually happens during the swamp area, I don't know why. The graphics aren't that high for it, jeez. But it is still a very beautiful game, if you didn't know. Now, the control scheme for this game is very simple. They have L and R to change to fast, mine, slow down, roll, dive, which is this and that, and roll in. Now, I got most of the power ups, so that's why I have so much junk with me. And there's not really as much as you would expect. Some stuff is upgrades to the ones you already have, like slow. There used to be one only when you jumped up, that would be slow. Now you can hold the triangle button to activate an attack, but that's not, that's besides the point. Slow down time wherever you move. There's also mine, which works like a mine. Except it's a hat, which is very nifty. I always like that. The explosions aren't very fancy. Then there's speed. Then we got decoy. Which actually works. They always go out after they attack, and most of the time. Sorry, it's been a while since I played this. It's been around a week. It takes a while to get, you know, back to skill. And there's also occasional lives. But let me tell you what happens when you use a decoy legitimately. Legitimately. Now, they do a little dance move like that. I don't know why I didn't the first time. There you go. Now, there's time attack, which is the hourglass, which is in red, because I don't usually beat those. There's a safe crack, where you have to crack a safe by collecting all the bottles, which is usually very complicated. Not the beginning, but during right now, they're pretty hard to find. And then there's the keys, which allow you to open special objects to open up a new area. Like how you can get a shot of the cannon. Or, I don't know. Get a shot of the cannon. Or set off fireworks to break a hole in the wall. Or destroy a hypnotizing machine. You know, occasional sly stuff. And this is what you usually have to unlock by getting a sword amount of keys. I have almost all of them, as you can not tell, because I have to press start. I have 6 out of 7. But not only that, but look, you get a stereoscopic camera when you pause the game. I think that's really nifty. That makes you really enjoy the Vita's graphics for the most part. And also, you can get a 
help with some upgrades to make you not get hurt by certain stuff that's in the game. Like there, I don't get attacked by water. And there's also sword mint of enemies which are for the most part are easy. Like there's enemies that will attack you with close range which are really easy to come by. But then there's these guys who can attack you instantly and kill you. And they're not fun. Oh jeez, I got that. Look, you can't even dodge him. It's a shame too, because that would be really cool. Now there's only one graphical glitch I have. is with, there's It looks a little pixelated when you're next to fire. Other than that, this is a real solid game. It runs 60 frames per second, which is very rare for the Vita. You know, it kind of beats Wii U. Or not Wii U, 3DS. Now let's get on to the second game, which I'll just... Do video match. Here we are with Sly 2, Band of Thieves. Now this game really changed the whole entire franchise with how start screen is where you're the first level is. That was just mind blowing to me back in the day. But then when you press start, it freezes. Well, that's what it looks like. But it absolutely didn't. The long screen is very fantastic. And let me just go to, let's see here. Exit to episode menu. Yes. Now you can exit to episode menu very fast. Not even one loading screen whatsoever. Slide 4 and forgot to add. Now of course the levels are actually pretty small. The maps themselves are. But. I don't know how but Sucker Punch found a way to actually make it more interesting. And this game they implemented stealth, which was something that the second game, first game was lacking. You got the brawn, you got the thief, and then you got the brains, which is usually the weakest, but has some handy attachments. I'll go in order from least to greatest. Here's Lasaro Bentley, which is one of my favorite characters, but a lot of people beg to differ. Now as you can tell for a start, he's a pretty scrawny guy. Creeps up, is always worried, looking around, twitchy. Doesn't really jump. He jumps as high as everyone else. And they made him look short even though he's the same size as Sly. That's alright. He has a few attacks. He has square to attack. Triangle to place bomb. And circle does nothing but hide under tables. If there is a table. Now you can press select to equip an item. I have jetpack. It's my favorite. You can also throw bombs. Which is something that Sly four thieves a time, if you want to call it that. Usually implemented it originally. Then we got size of stabilizer, which is technically a one hit kill. Then we got snooze bomb. Then we got trigger bomb. Bro, pretty easy to understand. I like the jetpack because it helps Bentley get around more easily. I love his double jump too. They're really good on their animations. I mean, like, come on. He pops into a shell to do a double jump. He also is very weak. He takes around 4 to 5 hits to kill a sh small enemy and a lot more to kill another. Now, the touch screen implements your Binocucom, which you can use to just do that. It's also in the other games, but you know. And they're inverted, so you probably just change it your own way. Then you can press triangle to kill him. Slide so 3 it was changed, but this game had the original elements. Bentley also runs slower than the others, but I don't know, I kind of like him this way. He just feels more natural than the rest. Now let's go back in. Oh jeez, there's a loading screen for this. Ah. Now there's also Thief Net. This game, you have to get stuff to sell, then you get able to buy stuff. Most stuff is really expensive. And I guess I would buy something for anyone. But I don't have enough. So for Bentley, but I really, I don't know, I just don't like getting him upgrades. Now let's go into Burn. He's probably, he was really cool in this game, and this third grade. But, uh, then they made him jump slower, you know, lower than the rest, and I just really hate that. He just looked really disproportionate. But he's able to do a high jump, and look at this, look at this, pretty cool. He can knock people out. Oh yeah, and what happened in the first game, 
You could not move it up or down. You only move it left and right. That was a little bit of a problem for the most part. But for Mary, it's fixed. You can even hide in barrels, which is very unique for someone this size. Any character can hide in a barrel if there's an open one, but this game does not implement that. But hey, you know, 60 frames per second, beautiful size. It just looks all really good on the VS Vita, and I love it that way. If I had to choose any other system for this job, there'd probably not be another one. Except for PS3 or PS4, but you know. They're not really good for this type anymore. There's also trains, which have been pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, but, you know, it's a little bit hectic when a lot of enemies attack you at once. It's a buttload of them coming, even Carmelita, which looks really tall. Like, honestly, jeez. Look how tall she is. You can't even hit him. He's a really dangerous opponent. And I was getting my ass handed to me. Let me just dodge all the fighting. Now let me go to Sly. Probably the favorite one. And slow motion is now implemented so you can now finally use what you want to. You can press select to change stuff. Murray didn't only had that one jump thing. But for Sly, I collected most of the bottles. Which is something you actually get in this game as well. They're green. You know, it's like fish in a bottle. For the most part, they're pretty cool. But then you can put in cheats to get some bonus. Which is Tom Gadget from Toonami. I don't know how he was able to get in there. Then you can also get Time Rush. Both of them get at the beginning of the game. I'll show you. This guy. See his original voice too. He actually has one more comment, you can say. Yeah, there we go. Peanuts. Mm -hmm. You can also get the Paraglide in this game, which helps you move around much more faster. And how he runs, I love how he runs. Well, that was the best part about this game, other than the stealth implements. The sneaking to steal money, which Sly was only able to do in this game. But you know, it was still unique, I liked it. There's also the money counter, of course. Stealth is always implemented. You can also do a, a, gosh, I'm sorry, I was like real buttered fingers. Probably implement this. Pretty stealthy, right? Also, this is a nice little touch. How you can climb onto a train. I always thought that was like the coolest part about this game. That's it for slide three. I mean slide two. Also, I guess his double jump, he can jump higher, he can walk, and run, you know, basics for Sly. Now let's go to the last and final of this trilogy. As you can tell, the game starts out just like any other, beginning to the end. Well, this game does. Now this is the boss moment, I'm <laughs> going to show you how it plays out. The lighting also changed, so that's why Sly seems a lot brighter than usual. This is just overwhelming. Amazing. How did Thaddeus make a flying machine in the 1800s? Bet this thing still works. Oh, I'm sure it's operational. This is the main villain. Dr. M, glad you could see all this. I know you've been looking forward to it. Looking forward to all this and your death. Come on, aren't we supposed to banner a little... Now let's go to exit to game menu. Yes. Now there's a few more than usual. Well, there's opera, there's hazard room, beginning of the end. There's an opera of fear, rumble down under, flight of fancy, cold alliance, dead men tells no tales. Let's go with dead men tells no tales because that has the biggest map out of all of them. My retrospect. Even though the maps are still fairly small in the third part of the trilogy, it still seems to feel massive. Now a few things changed. Now when you steal the money, it gets automatically addressed in there. 
And as you can tell, I'm just trying to save up to buy everything. Actually, no, that's not correct. Yep, that is. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was saving up for something else. Whatever, buy some junk. I just focused on Sly the most. I'll start out with him on this. You know what? No. No, because Sly is usually the same. He didn't change the most. Let's start with Bentley. The person that actually did change and can roll around in wheels that are way too disproportionate. Bentley is now in a wheelchair. His legs got broken. I'm not going to explain why. Or how. Let me tell you, it makes Bentley way more fun to play. And also, they also made you fly even higher. Most parts, Sly could never go this high. Or any character could, but the catapults were greatly implemented. Bentley can, unlike the fourth game, he can actually glide. Which can actually help you. But sadly, that was only implemented in this game, and also that Bentley can jump higher. But we thought they would upgrade that too. Now, here's his power-ups. This is Health Extractor. This is Trigger Bomb. This is Fishing Pole, because Bentley gets his free leak. He's able to steal stuff from enemies. Alarm Clock, which, you know, makes characters' enemies go near that. Then we got Adrenaline Burst, which is something new for Bentley in this game, but is also implemented in other games. Let's just escape this fight. There's really no need to. Jeez, that goes way, way more crazy in this game. There's also... Let me just show you the fishing pole. Because now every character can actually steal. Look at that. Get the fishing rod with a magnet one. It's funny how Bentley thinks that's ingenious in this game. Slam the other hand has matured. But it's for the best. Yep, that's stealing. Also, let me show you how bombs don't kill them automatically. I'm not sure if they're with him. They can also tell where you are. Yeah, I'm sorry, this is only for Marie. This KKO usually doesn't kill. But for Bentley, it's different. I don't just don't know why, but Bentley's just more fun in this game. He can actually steal again. I love how he wears just a helmet for protection. Also, in this game, they're able to use the back touchpad to actually have a little circle that tells you where everything is. But, sadly, it's not implemented for any other game in this trilogy. And also, some... I was about to say some API is just a little bit broken, but I guess I don't have time for that. Also, for the enemies in this game, they're usually scarier because they don't talk English. I wish they went back to that. So I'm like, they're just scarier. More mature. But then they softened up during the years. So let me go on to Murray, which changed slightly, but not that much. His attacks... Just same, except for he got to roar, which can scare enemies away. He has this, which just makes him go crazy. But then we also got the ball form, which is new to the game. He can actually go pretty decently high. Also... I believe he jumps slightly higher. I don't know. Also, when he punches, like, that has this white and stuff, which makes no sense for the white color, but honestly, I like it. Sorry, I don't I can't tell you. There we go. There's even a chasing scene where you have to chase characters in Sly 2, which come back again for one playthrough in this game. 
And I just think that's just mostly fun. There we go. See? Not as strong. Or the enemies got stronger. In this game, you can actually do backflip. Another game you couldn't. Just give me a second. Watch. When he does a backflip, he doesn't turn to the left or to the right. He just does a backflip. Very nice. Solid. Perfect. But the guy who truly missed in the game. And also that the water is okay, I guess. Most of the animations are still clay-like. It got changed for the last part of the game, but... You know, the last game that they had. But I just think it downgraded. I just don't know. It just didn't feel like Sly. Like, I love the game where they had crazy gadgets where they could use, just like Insomnia use. Just butler. Okay, but now here's Sly. Thief in the game. Has slow motion again. Rocket boots, which are big, we knew. So now he's jet propelled. Which can seriously get some mileage now. You know, back to the future. Another game to roller blades, but whatever. Also got smoke bomb. Dodge. This is new, I believe. I don't think it's implemented in slide 2. Could be wrong. This can seriously make you go far. I mean, like, as far as you want. And also, there's some mystery one. I just don't know how to get it. There's also a paraglide, but then we got some... A new invisibility, which is... Something they brought back from an older game. But look at it, you know you're invisible. As long as they don't touch you, you're okay. And... Got this, which you can only use once in the game, so it's very useless. Then we also got disguises. Look, see? Disguise. Avast! Walk be the pirate passcode. Here's the password slide. Part, part, whole part. Ah, new blood, eh? Watch. You can talk. Ahoy, sir! I always thought that was a little bit nifty. Seriously. Sly so hasn't changed at all. Other characters took a slight change, but that's about it. Bentley got the major change, though. And that's about it for this game. That's about it. <clears throat> Comment, subscribe, and like, and if you're new to the channel, please leave a like. This was Sly Collection Review. Be a true athlete and subscribe today. Get this out, too. Out.